Good morning, BUHS. Today is Tuesday, October 19th, 2021. There is a charity bingo night at the Whetstone Station this Wednesday at 4 p.m. If you like bingo or need to do something to do, you should definitely check it out. There is a trivia night Tuesday, October 19th at the Whetstone in downtown Broadboro. It starts at 4 p.m. and goes until the restaurant closes. Over to Forest with the weather. All right, so it's going to be cloudy all week. Today is going to be a high of 61, low of 50. Tomorrow is going to be a high of 70 and low of 49. Uh, Thursday is going to be a high of 71 and low of 52. And Friday is going to be a high of 65 and low of 42. Back to the news. The town of Brattleboro has scheduled October 22nd and November 5th, both Fridays, as official leaf pickup days. All leaves and clippings must be in brown paper leaf bags at the curb by 7 a.m. on scheduled leaf collection days. Acceptable waste includes leaves, grass clippings, garden waste, twigs, no branches larger than one inch in diameter and two feet long. Please do not <laughs> include plastic or other trash in the bags. Over to Aaron with World News. Well, so... The FMR manager of the DOD Aerospace Threat Program states that UFOs are real. Um, multiple former high-level officials and scientists have been working under the shadows and have finally come out to the public that UFOs are real. The research says that uh, these UFOs are not hostile, but uh, we still do not know enough about them. So as of now, they will still be considered a potential threat until we learn more about them. And they're positive they have no bad intentions. Now back to the desk. <laughs> Stop by Latches to catch the latest movie, Halloween Kills, before it stops showing. It shows every day from Monday through Thursday at 6.55 p.m. and 8.55 p.m. It is also shown in Keene every day from Monday to Thursday at 12.45 p.m., 3 p.m., 5.15 p.m., and 7.30 p.m. Keen is $6.50 per person, Latches is $9 per person, or you can rent a whole theater for $50 to $125. You can even bring your own food or buy concessions. Over to Sports with Elias. Um, the Red Sox are rolling right now, beating up on the Astros in Game 3 of the ALCS at Fenway Park last night. Kyle Schwarber hit a grand slam in the second inning, um, which is the Red Sox' third grand slam in the last two games. The Red Sox have a 2-1 series lead over the Astros with Game 4 tonight um, at 8.08. Um, in Colonel Sports, our field hockey team has a home game Wednesday afternoon against Bellows Falls. Our football team plays Rice this Friday at 7 p.m. Um, that theme will be a pink out. It's a home game. And our, boy, our boys varsity soccer team heads to Rutland on Thursday, looking to end the regular season on a good note. And that's all for sports this week. Back to the, back to the desk with Brenna and Hannah. <laughs> on October 23rd in Swansea, New Hampshire, there is a market pumping pumpkin <laughs> palooza. There will be live music, pumpkin carving, and outdoor vendors. This will take place from 1 to 10 p.m. on Saturday. Pumpkins cost $6, and supplies are provided. Saturday, October 30th, 30th is this year's last farmer's market. If you want to get some food, walk around and hang out, stop by. Now let's go watch Dalen and Kim's special. All right, so today... We're talking about top five food places to eat in Brattleboro. So coming in at number five, we got the marina. They have a great atmosphere and view of the river, and their wings are to die for. So coming in at number four, we have Ruger's. It's close to the school, so it's very convenient. They have a large assortment of milk bar and cream cheese and bagels. Um, at number three, we have the Whetstone. They have a great view of the Connecticut River, and they have great service and assortment of food. Trust me, I work there. And at number two, we have the 99. They have the best boneless buffalo wings 
and burgers in town, if you ask me. Um, and at the number one spot, we have Tito's. Um, they have the best burritos and tacos around. They have fresh meat, and they have my favorite hot sauce in town. At Tito's, you can create your own burritos with your favorite ingredients as well. These have been the top five best food places in Brattleboro. Let me know if you agree. Now back to the desk. On Friday, October 30th, Hawks and Reed Performing Arts Center in Greenfield is hosting a Rage Against the Machine tribute Halloween show. Tickets are $10 and it starts at 8 p.m. Now over to James with funny news. Today on funny news, a man walking down a New York City street uh, attacked by a, was attacked by a rooster that was uh, apparently known to be terrorizing this neighborhood for a couple years. A rooster? Yes, a legitimate rooster. He uh, apparently was uh, left bloody and concerned. Oh, I mean, I know that a lot of people carry chickens in carts on the subway. <laughs> 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 They'll like fly around in the in the car in like their cages. Um, so was like, did it just live in the neighborhood? Like, was it wild? Yeah, it's been there for years. <laughs> it was a wild Where rooster. Where in New York City? Uh, 169th Street. Oh my God. I was it's, it's been known it's for years. It's a wild Just rooster. to terrorize people in the neighborhood. And they haven't gotten like rid of it? Or, like, no one's caught it. No, I feel like someone would have cooked it by now. No, nope, it it's been living there pet? for years. I feel like it has to be someone's yeah, pet. Yeah, someone's pet. I mean, I would assume if someone's pet, if it's lived there for years. How has it, like, not died? How has no one killed it? That's I would just kick it. I mean, yeah, <laughs> just kick it. Ooh. Yeah, you kick, <laughs> kick the chicken when it's attacking your face. Well, yeah. yeah, it's a chicken. It can't be that big. They're so small. <laughs> <laughs> what do you not understand by the, the chicken, chicken is attacking your yeah. face? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, back over to the desk, folks. <laughs> The Gaines' Farm is doing the Haunted Hayride in Corn Maze. Come down to 6343 Calvin Coolidge Highway in Guilford for the day, time events, or night events. On Saturday, October 23rd, from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m., you can go to the farmer's market for fresh, lo fresh local agricultural product, specialty foods such as baked goods, local wine and spirits, preserves, international prepared foods, and crafts. All of it is homegrown, so head on down to 500 Western Avenue, Brattleboro, Vermont. That's all we have for you today, BUHS. Bye. <laughs>